Alrighty, what's up guys? Today I will be showing you how to get a response from an API using Axios. So the first thing I'm going to do is start my terminal. And with every node application, we have to run npm in it to create our package.json. Awesome. Let's see. Make sure we got it. Nice. Our package JSON has been created. <laughs> okay. So the first thing, uh, the second thing we're gonna do is create our JavaScript file. So let's go ahead and um, create. It. Let's call it app.js. Awesome. Now we're going to have to install the package Axios. So we simply run npm install Axios dash s. Clear that out. Go in our package.json and we have Axios. Okay, so if you've never used Axios before, um, what I recommend doing is just looking up the, looking it up, Axios npm, let's go over to the documentation, install it Axios, and what we're going to, so since we're getting since we're trying to get a response from the API, we're going to be making a GET request. So let's go ahead and just copy this code right here. Go to our app.js, paste it here. And this is basically going to be the URL where we're getting the information from. So let's use a fake API. Fake API. And whenever I'm messing at, messing around with get request, I like to um, I like to use the JSON placeholder um, website. So let's go ahead and use this link right here. Copy it. Paste it here. Save it. And what's going on here is we're making a get request to this URL, and once it's done. Um, we will get the response, which will be passed into this function right here. And we're uh, going to go ahead and log it out. Now, if, if we don't get a response and something goes wrong, then it's going to catch that error and give us a, um, an error response. So let's go ahead and run that, run this, um, run this file. So to run a JavaScript file on node, all you have to do is Type node and the file. Oh, looks like we ran into an issue. So, since it doesn't recognize Axios, we have to actually require it. So, let's go ahead and require, require Axios. And now it should be available. Play this out. Run it again. Node app.js. And we get our JSON. Awesome. Let's go ahead and see what happens when it doesn't work. So I'll put an extra S here. Run node app again. And we get this huge error message. Quest failed status 404. Awesome. And that's basically just a quick tutorial on how to make a request to uh, get a request to an API using Axios. Thanks for watching.
make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you liked the video. Um, and have a good one. Thank you.